Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get to BTV applications here for Stick if you are unable to download it from the official Amazon App Store. There might be different reasons for that, but the main reason is if you do not live in one of the countries where it is officially available. So, Tubi TV is an amazing application that you can use to watch movies, TV shows, as well as live TV online, and they got loads of movies, TV shows, and so on. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get this app to your device. And by the way, this app is totally legal to use. Yeah, so that's important. And first of all, all you have to do is get the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. And you can actually get it totally for free from your official Amazon App Store. Just go to search in your device and start typing Downloader in the search bar. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader, and there is the app that you gotta get to your device. But after you got the loader, it is actually not over yet, because we still have to set it up. So now, in order to actually stop the loader, we will need to go to the settings, clicking by clicking on that button with a gear icon, then we scroll down and go to My Fire TV. So let's open it up. And from here, you have to turn on the developer options on your Fire Stick device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, there is no need to worry because it's actually super easy to make them appear. You just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote, and do it for 7 times. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have pop out for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install on apps, and from here all you have to do is locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, you should be able to use the loader right here, but before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, all you have to do is just connect to any server, let's say we'll connect to Singapore right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, Let's use the loader safely. So we go straight to the list of apps on your device, open it up, and go to the loader. Just wait until it loads for you. And here on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on home and not on browser. So once again, make sure you have clicked on home. And then here in the search bar, we need to start entering the code. So the code is gonna be 28907. So once again, it is 28907. That's the code that you have to enter, then click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot, 
and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now the website has opened up for us. All you have to do is scroll down a little bit until you find the list of categories. From here, click on Movies and TV. And then in the list, what you gotta do is scroll down and locate the Tubi application. And there it is, found it. So locate Tubi and then just click on it. Then you might see an ad. And if you see an ad, just click on close to close it down because we don't really need it. So close down the ad. And then a new web page is going to open, which you also need to scroll down. Keep scrolling until you see those download buttons. So you should either click on this one, but if nothing starts, you can also use the backup download link, which is below the main download button. And now the download process has started. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In case if it doesn't work properly, then just use that backup download link. So now just wait until the download finishes for you. Then you need to click on install and in a couple of moments, Tubi TV will be installed to your Fire Stick. And after it is installed, don't click on open yet. Instead, press on done because this way we'll have an option to delete the installation files as we don't need them anymore on your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of an SDF files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space on it anyway. And now if you go to the list of apps on your device, there it is, we open it and there you'll find Tubi TV, which we just installed. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way Tubi TV is always going to be at the very front of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.